I have made a really bad decision. Oh no, it's time to die, teddy bear. Goodbye. This legit feels so nice on my face. I feel like I'm at a salon or something. <laughs> oh my God, this is literal slime. What the hell? It has left my skin with a slight blue tint, but that's all right. I haven't got anyone to see. I haven't got anywhere to be. <laughs> I look so crazy right now. That is so not my shade. Glycosaminoglycans. <laughs> Let's just pretend I said that right. Oh, I just poked myself in the other eye. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video I have been meaning to film for a very long time actually and I'm finally doing it. Today I'm going to be trying out only Revolution products for 24 hours. So literally I'm going to be trying out their makeup, their skincare, bath bombs, all that kind of good stuff and I'm so excited. If you guys are fans of Revolution already, you'll probably already know this but they literally release a new product pretty much every week. The devil works hard but Revolution works harder, I'm telling you guys. And especially now that we are in lockdown with everything that's going on. I thought that this would be a really nice video to do because not only can I try new products, I can basically take the time to like pamper myself for the whole day, which I'm very, very excited about. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video and get to see what sort of products are out there right now at Revolution and just to see like what my opinion is of everything. This video is not sponsored in any way, but you guys know that I do have a collaboration with Revolution, but that is not gonna sway my opinion at all. For any of these products, I'm gonna be 100% honest. So if there's anything that I don't really like or I don't think is gonna work for me then I will definitely let you guys know. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But without further ado, let's get on into the video. Alright guys, it is now the morning. Welcome to my bathroom. I have set you guys up in my bathroom on a tripod, so it's literally just the mirror that you're looking at right now. The first product I'm really excited for, it's actually a product that I've never ever tried before. I didn't even know this existed. It's the Revolution Intense Cleansing Powder. It's a purifying charcoal powder. It's literally like pure black inside here. So with this, what you do is you put a tiny bit of it onto the palm of your hand and you mix it with water and then it's supposed to become like a foam, which I mean, that sounds really cool and really interesting so I just had to try this out. So what this claims to do is exfoliate your skin. My skin is quite dry today and just in general so this is definitely gonna be great. This was 10 pounds on the website which I guess is not bad but hopefully it will actually work. This is so exciting. I literally love trying out new skincare. Ooh, it smells of charcoal. <laughs> I don't know what I expected with that. So I'm literally just gonna place a tiny bit of this onto my hand. Oh my god. Look, it's like, can you guys see? Oh my God, look at, <laughs> I just dropped loads of it into my sink. Oh my God, guys, look at that. It's like gray. That is so cool. Okay, so as I put some water, it's literally become like pure black. So I'm gonna try and like mix it. <coughs> Oh my god, this is making me cough. I feel like the charcoal is in the air. When I'm just mixing it in my hand, it feels very like granuly. Do you know what I mean? It feels like a exfoliant, which I think is really cool. Oh my god, the more I mix it, the more bubbles happen. This is so cool. I have made a really bad decision. <laughs> I wore a white jumper when I'm literally trying out this black charcoal. I'm gonna have to be so careful not to get any on my jumper or else it's game over. Okay, I'm literally just gonna put that on my face. Oh my god, that was close. I just flicked some of it onto my arm. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> I feel like I'm literally finger painting right now. You guys should see my sink. It is very messy right now. I wish there was an easier way to mix this in my hand because literally my hands are covered with this stuff now. Okay, so literally what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and rub this into my skin. Ooh, this feels nice. All of the like tiny little beads within the charcoal is very exfoliating, but not in a way that's like really harsh on the skin. This is literally the kind of exfoliant that I absolutely love. It feels like it's doing something, but there's not like really harsh, massive bits of beads, if you know what I mean. I think I've used like Clearasil before and the beads are like absolutely massive. They literally feel like they're tearing your skin off. But this is actually quite nice and gentle and the beads are very fine. So you can literally just rub as hard or as little as you like. And if you're like me and you kind of suffer with dry skin here 
and there, then I feel like this would be great, but it is drying down pretty quick. So I feel like you definitely have to like work quite quickly. I'm just gonna take my little makeup removing cloth from Style Pro and I'm just gonna take that off. Also, can I just get a round of applause for not getting a single drop of that charcoal on my jumper right now? I am very happy about that. Okay, so first impressions, I'm looking in the mirror and I've gotta say that my skin definitely already feels a lot less flaky. I had a lot of like dry patches right here because as you guys can see, I have a little friend on my face and I've been using like drying lotions on it. So it was definitely really, really dry, but now, there's no dry skin at all there, so that's amazing. It came off really, really easily as well, so that's great. So far, I'm really liking that product, and I definitely will incorporate that into like my skincare routine, but I probably wouldn't use this every day, maybe like once a week. Now, the next product I'm gonna be trying out from Revolution is this. This is actually their passion fruit oil. This is a balancing and nourishing oil. It's kind of just like a serum, basically. When I do my morning skincare before doing my makeup, I usually actually apply a cream, like a lightweight cream, maybe like a Nivea one or something to really just moisturize my skin as it is quite dry. But I feel like this is quite new for me. I don't really use oils all that much in the morning, especially. I usually use them at night. This again is vegan. Let me just see how much this was. So this oil was 10 pounds. And the reason why I got it is because I know that passion fruit has a lot of amazing qualities for the skin. Passion fruit oil known as maracuja oil is great for oily skin that needs hydration without the oily finish. Yes, so I obviously have been saying that I have quite dry skin, but I also have oily skin. My skin type is combination. So I get quite oily on my chin, my eyelids, which is really weird, my forehead and like my nose. So basically my T-zone, but like cheeks and like my jaw always gets really dry. It says, who's it for? Oily or blemish prone skin types who still want to hydrate. Yes, that is literally my skin type. Look how many like blemishes I have on my jaw. I hate it so much. So hopefully this will help me out a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a few dry drops of that onto my forehead, my cheeks, nose, and my chin. Okay, I'm gonna blend that in with my hands. You could use like a roller or something, but gone in my mouth. It feels very moisturizing. I actually really like the consistency of it. And to be honest, I feel like this sort of oil I would probably use at nighttime, not really before doing my makeup, but that's just me and like my personal skincare routine. But let me know if you guys ever apply like oils to your face in the morning. I tend not to do that because I don't really like my foundation like separating and stuff and just going all weird. But to be honest, the more I'm like blending this into my face, it is actually absorbing into my skin pretty well. So hopefully it shouldn't look too oily as like the finished product. Now the next little tool I have is this little eye roller that I really, really wanna try out for this video because it's actually also from Revolution. It's basically just like a tiny little under eye roller that you can just roll on your skin. Oh my God, this feels so nice. I actually put this in the fridge beforehand and it feels so blimming good. My eyes always get really puffy in the mornings. So this is great. To be honest, I used to think that little tools like this are quite useless because it doesn't feel like it's doing anything in the moment. Like it feels a little bit nice, but in the end, do you really see that big of a difference? So I read up a little bit about it. And to be honest, things like this do actually stimulate the muscles in your face. Like the ones that don't really get to be used much. Just like you exercise your body, you can also exercise exercise your face now with tools like this. So yeah, I will definitely try and use this more and I guess I'll give you guys an update if it works. And the last product I'm gonna try for my skincare routine today is the Watermelon Popsicle Eye Heart Revolution Lip Mask slash Lip Balm. This costs three pounds. It is like very inexpensive, but the packaging is so cute and I'm a sucker for anything watermelon. It's like my favorite fruit. This is actually enriched with avocado oil, which is very good for the skin. So I'm gonna give this a try. It doesn't really smell like watermelon, it kind of smells like cucumber, which is very weird. I guess we'll see if it tastes like watermelon at all. Ooh, that is so hydrating. Ooh, I can really smell the watermelon now that I've got it on my lips. It definitely feels like a lip mask. It is very heavy, very nourishing in formula. I really like that. I mean, for three pounds, you can't really go wrong. I'm definitely gonna be using this now. So that is it for my morning skincare routine. I've tried out those three products and I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with all of them. So now that my skincare is done, let's move on to the makeup. All right, so I'm back in my usual spot. And as you guys can see, my eye has become really bloodshot because I scratched it. So please don't mind that too much. Hopefully it'll go away soon. But the next product I'm gonna be using is actually a primer. So recently Revolution has come out with this whole like glass skin range and I haven't tried it yet. So I'm really, really excited. I think I might have actually tried one product from this range, but I haven't tried this. This is the Glass Liquid Skin Illuminating Skin Primer. Ooh, this is really cool. Inside, it kind of looks quite cloudy which is quite interesting. 
Oh my god. That smells like sweets, like actual straight up sweets. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop a tiny bit of that. I don't want too much because I know this is quite like shiny and reflective from what I've seen. It's just supposed to give you like a really nice luminous base under your foundation, which I really, really like. And especially because I do have dry skin, I can't really ever achieve that. This feels really nice on my skin. It feels very like, moisturizing but a little bit tacky which is gonna be great because the foundation is gonna stick to it so for my foundation i didn't actually go for a revolution foundation i went for the makeup obsession which is technically still like a revolution brand so there's revolution i heart makeup and obsession but they are coming out with a new brand soon i think from what i've seen it looks really cool it's gonna be very like I don't know, looking after the earth, like all of the packaging is gonna be ethically sourced and that kind of thing, which I think is a great idea. But today, I'm gonna be trying out these Makeup Obsession foundation sticks. I wasn't sure which shade I was gonna be, so I got the LO2 and LO3. Does anyone else absolutely hate opening new packaging because it's literally so difficult sometimes? Okay, I have a feeling one of them is gonna be too light for me, so let's try this one first. That is definitely too light still. And this is the darker one. Oh no, I hope I'll be able to make it like work. <laughs> Maybe I can just bronze up with my contour palette. Oh my gosh, but it's very creamy. I like that so far. It is very, very creamy to apply. <laughs> I look so crazy right now. That is so not my shade. I'm gonna try and blend it out with this flat top brush from Revolution as well, actually. All of my beauty blenders are like super, super dirty right now. So I'm just gonna use a brush. Okay, it's blending out really easily actually, but this is definitely not my shade at all. It blends out so easily though, wow. Oh, I just poked myself in the other eye with this brush. Now I'm gonna have two red eyes. So the formula so far I can tell is very creamy. It feels really nice and lightweight on the skin but the coverage isn't that high, so it's not really covering all of my blemishes, which are quite dark. So if you do decide to use this foundation, you'll definitely have to go over it with some concealer in some areas. But so far, I really like the way it sits on my skin, and especially with the primer underneath, it's giving it that really luminous effect. Okay, so far, my face kind of looks ridiculous. I don't know if it's the fact that my face is literally white or the fact that my eye is bloodshot, but something looks very wrong here. I mean, my face looks very, very shiny right now. So maybe that's what it is because I'm really not used to my skin looking like this, but I'm gonna try and set it and see if that like changes anything. Okay, instantly that looks so much better now. It doesn't look as cray cray. I mean, it's still very light compared to like my neck. So I'm definitely gonna have to bronze up quite a lot. And for this, I'm of course gonna use my Roxy X Revolution palette. This is the contour and highlighter one. I'm using my oldest one, which is so battered up. I'm gonna take this shade and this shade and I'm just gonna try and like, Add some warmth back into my face, basically. Okay, so now that I've bronzed up, I feel like that definitely looks way more put together now. It actually matches my neck, kind of, so we're all good. I wouldn't say these foundations are bad. I just got the wrong shade, which is my bad, but I really like the consistency. I love the way it applies, and it feels very creamy and, like, moisturizing on the skin. I don't know if I would use these two products together, but I definitely love the foundation separately, and I feel like this would be great, but with another foundation. Now, moving on to blush shade, if you guys didn't know, I recently came out with my second collab with Revolution so obviously it's only right I use my own product in this video. Obviously this isn't my first time trying this product. I have used it for like months on end now without you guys even knowing but this is definitely my go-to blusher palette right now. There's just so many shades, so much variety for so many different skin tones and the shades that you can't use for your skin tone you can use as eyeshadow as well. So I've just gone with like the peachy shade. You only need the tiniest bit. Look at that. I feel like blusher just makes everything better. Like it just makes your whole face looks so much more awake and healthy and all that good stuff. So I think it's safe to say I've been just a little bit obsessed with blusher lately. Do you know what? For today's look, I'm gonna keep it very minimal on the skin. I just want it to look really healthy and like glowing. I feel like I don't need highlighter because this is pretty glowy already. I think today I'm just gonna stick on the eyes and hopefully my red eye is gonna go away soon, but I'm gonna be trying one of these three palettes today. I got these two new palettes, which are from the same range as all of the like glass products, which I think is so cool. I absolutely love the packaging. But then I did also pick up this one from the iHeart Revolution. This is the teddy bear palette. I've been meaning to get my hands on this for so freaking long because of how cute the teddy bear is. Oh my God, look how cute he is. What should we name him? He is adorable. Let's open him up and see what kind of shades are inside. Oh my God, no. 
Shut up. Look at that. That is so cute. This kind of reminds me of like the little makeup palettes that you used to have as a kid. Like I absolutely love the layout. It's so adorable. But the shades inside are like not kitty shades at all. Like they actually are shades that I would wear every day. Okay, the glass mirror palette looks like this. These are definitely very interesting shades. It's a very interesting palette that I personally wouldn't really dip into as much. This is what the black ice palette looks like inside. I would say this is more of like a nighttime smoky gray slash black kind of eye look palette. I guess I get that vibe from like these four shadows here. I mean, there's definitely a lot more like brighter looks that you could create with this, but I think these two aren't really my vibe. I don't know why. I love the packaging and maybe for someone a little bit more experimental with their makeup, Definitely go for it, but I think I'm gonna stick with a teddy bear today. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna take this brown shade in the bottom corner here, and I'm gonna use that as like a transition slash base for this look. The shadows are very buttery and smooth, and there doesn't seem to be too much like fallout, they're not too chalky. The next shade I'm gonna take is, I think this one. This one is literally calling my name. Like, look at this formula. It like glides on. Oh my God, look at that. It glides on like an actual dream. With this formula, I do find that it's actually easier to apply with your finger for the most part, but you can use a brush to kind of like get into all the tiny little areas. I'm now just gonna use this slightly darker brown shade on a tiny little brush to kind of just put more depth into the outer corner. Okay, so with this darker shade, there is a tiny bit more fall down right here, which I'm gonna have to clean up, which is a little bit annoying, but it's okay, we can work with it. Okay, I've managed to fix my under eye, and now lastly, I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is literally calling my name as well. It's like the same frenzy formula, but in a much lighter shade. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the center of my lid just to kind of brighten it up and kind of add like a spotlight effect. And I'm also gonna apply that in my inner corner just to kind of brighten up this whole look. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I am very, very impressed with this palette. Like you would think that it might be just a little bit gimmicky when you look at the packaging, but it is absolutely not. There's so many wearable shades. The pigmentation is gorgeous and I just love how this eye look turned out. I'm now just gonna apply some eyeliner and mascara and then I'm gonna pop on these Revolution lashes. I've actually tried out some Revolution Revolution lashes before, but not this particular style. These are the number seven fantasy natural wispy lashes. So I'm just gonna pop those on and I'll be right back. All right guys, are you ready to see the lashes? Three, two, one. What do you think? I am actually obsessed with these lashes. I used to own a pair just like this from I think Lily Lashes and they cost about 15 pounds. These were like three pounds and Honestly, I'm just so happy I found these. These are like my go-to lashes from now on. Also, the band is really nice and thin, so it honestly doesn't even feel like I'm wearing lashes right now, which is absolutely amazing. Now I'm gonna move on to lips. Now again, I have actually come out with a lip kit with Revolution, which I'm so excited about. These are my ride or die lip shades. There's three different shades in here, so you get three different liquid lipsticks for only 10 pounds. I honestly feel like that's amazing. Packaging is gorgeous as well. I designed it all myself, and I'm just so excited for these. In my campaign videos and photos, I wore this shade, which was Tokyo. So I think I'm gonna switch it up today and I'm gonna go for the shade New York. New York is actually the only cream formula out of the lip kit. So I'm really excited to show you guys how that looks on its own. And that is what this lipstick looks like by itself. It's a very like creamy, peachy kind of nude color, which I absolutely love with this eye look. So that is the makeup portion complete. This is the look that I have created with Revolution products only. And I actually feel like everything looks pretty great. I didn't really have much trouble with most of the products apart from the foundation at first. Like obviously it was the wrong shade, but now that I've got it on, it looks absolutely flawless. And because I set my face as well afterwards, it's like pretty put. So I'm really, really happy with it. And I actually feel like it looks great under my eyes. Recently I've been really struggling with finding a concealer that doesn't crease under my eyes like crazy. And that's not even a concealer, but it's barely creased, which I'm actually kind of amazed about. All right guys, so it's now bath time and I'm gonna try out these really cool bath bombs from Revolution. So these are actually from the I Heart Revolution brand. They have a lot more like cutesy kind of stuff. So they have this donut bath bomb. They have this little like avocado and then they have this cute little teddy bear. Look at him, he's adorable. Guys, look at him. Isn't he adorable? I actually feel quite bad putting him in the bath. Oh no, it's time to die teddy bear. Goodbye. Oh my God, oh my actual God. 
He became so fuzzy so quickly. Look at the color. That is beautiful. Oh my God. I mean, he's still intact. Like he hasn't completely withered away. I'm actually scared to use the other ones in here because I feel like you're not gonna see the true color and they might just merge into like a weird brown color. This is really weird, but in person, the bathtub is like pure pink, but on camera, it's not really showing up quite as vibrant as I'm seeing it. I don't know why that is, but I can assure you this bath bomb has actually changed the whole bath pink, which is so cool. When it gets to this stage of bath bombs, this is what I love to do. Oh, it's so satisfying when it literally just like crushes in your hand. Do you know what? I think I'm not gonna use the donut and also the avocado because I feel like it will spoil the color of this bath. And like I said, it might just merge into like a weird mucky brown color, which I definitely don't want. All right guys, now that I've had my bath, I think it's time finally to do the night skincare routine. Now I'm really excited to try out a bunch of new products from Revolution that I've actually never tried before. And the ones I am trying are all vegan, which I think is amazing. Also, can we just appreciate how cute my little headband is? It's from Huda Beauty. It's so adorable. Anyways, before I actually jump into trying out the products, I'm gonna steam my face first because I've recently purchased this and and it's a new addition to my skincare family. It's basically a little portable face steamer. I got this on Amazon for something like 20 pounds, maybe 30 pounds tops. I've always wanted one of these because I've always seen people like Ling use it on Instagram and stuff. And I was like, that's such a good idea. I just really need to invest in one. So yeah, I got this one. You literally just turn it on. And after a little while it heats up and it will like blow out steam to kind of open up your pores. I find that using this really helps to absorb any serums or face creams, especially at night, but you can do this in the morning as well. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna steam my face for a few minutes until we're ready for skincare. This legit feels so nice on my face. I feel like I'm at a salon or something. <laughs> All right, I'm finally done with steaming my face. My skin is looking super glowy. I find that that really helps to kind of hydrate my skin as well. I don't know what it is, but that vapor does wonders to my skin. So now I'm gonna move on to actually cleansing my face. So for this, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Thirsty Mood Quenching Cleansing Cream. Again, this is vegan and this actually has cannabis inside. So that's interesting. So what it claims to do is key benefits, hydrating and nourishing. I definitely want some of that. It then says that it has a vegan snail slime, which is basically the equivalent of snail slime. It's called glycoproteins and hydrolyzed glycos Saminoglycans. <laughs> Let's just pretend I said that right. I've never actually tried a cleansing cream before. Ooh, that smells nice. So you're supposed to massage this over your face in circular motions and then rinse well with warm water and dry it with a towel. This feels and smells really nice on my skin so far, but because it smells so nice and because it is so like, I don't know, like slippery. It kind of makes me feel like I'm literally slathering my face with conditioner for your hair. I guess it just kind of has that smell that I recognize to be in conditioners, but honestly, I'm not complaining. It's really nice. That feels so nice. My skin literally feels so smooth right now. I don't even understand how this is possible. <laughs> honestly, I'm gonna give you guys the tea. This is insane. Like my skin feels so smooth. It feels like a baby's bottom and it's so moisturized and just after like a couple of seconds of using that. I don't understand. That's left my skin so smooth. What the hell? I am actually blown away by this. It must be the cannabis oil. On the back, it literally says, cannabis sativa oil helps to smooth and nourish the skin. Wow. Pop off cannabis oil. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna use, I'm literally just gonna have a whole pan procession right now. I'm gonna have a little go at this face mask from my friend Jake Jamie. You guys are probably familiar with all these face masks that he has come out with in collaboration with Revolution. He does such an amazing job at these. Honestly, I'm such a big fan of so many of them. I love the donut one he's come out with, but this one is, I can't get into it, but it's the dragon fruit mask. And this looks incredible, but I don't know why I haven't tried it yet. I think it's because at the time he came out with three and I felt really bad opening all three at once because I just knew I wasn't gonna use them all at once. So you're supposed to apply this 10 to 15 minutes, but let's be real, if you're anything like me, we keep face masks on for like half an hour because you forget to wash it off. I'm gonna be using my little face mask uh, brush, also from Revolution. Honestly, I feel like everyone needs one of these because it just makes applying face masks to your face so much easier. You don't have to like dig your fingers in there and you can get like a really nice smooth application. As you guys can see, it's got like little dragon fruit seeds, I guess, within the mask, which you can 
Always use at the end to kind of like rub in and exfoliate your skin as well. I feel like Revolution always delivers when it comes to the face masks. They always smell so good. All right guys, so now that my face mask is on, I'm gonna leave this for about 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna play my Nintendo Switch. I am literally so obsessed with Animal Crossing right now. I spent like the last two days literally playing it from morning all the way till like 4 a.m. Like it's bad. Let me know in the comments if you guys are also addicted to Animal Crossing, just so I don't feel so bad for being on it all the time. Okay, Hey guys, I'm back. It's been about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, because I kind of forgot that I was filming this video, but it's now time to remove the face mask. Okay, so now that my mask is off, it is now time to apply another mask because, well, there is no reason. <laughs> I mean, I thought I would just go full out in this video. Like, why try one face mask when you can try two? But this one is actually not like a face mask that you wash off. It's more like a sleeping mask. So this is exactly from the same range as the cream that I just used. This is the Thirsty Mood Quenching Overnight Face Mask. Ooh, this is interesting. Can you guys see that? It's like blue inside. It's kind of like a jelly. It actually moves in the tub. Can you guys see that? Whoa, guys, look at that. It's like a jelly. It actually moves. Oh my god, this is literal slime. What the hell? As if you guys didn't think I was already fancy with using this sleeping mask, I've also decided to use this, which is a Revolution Rose Quartz facial roller. This texture is everything. Like I love anything that's like jelly and water-based because it just feels so like hydrating and really lightweight on the skin. All right, so I'm just gonna take the quartz roller and literally just roll this into my skin. I actually have put this in the fridge with all of the other skincare as well. It's so nice to use when it's cold in the mornings, especially if you've got like puffy eyes. I always have such puffiness under my eyes. I think I might have put too much of this on my face to be honest. It has left my skin with a slight blue tint, but that's all right. I haven't got anyone to see. I haven't got anywhere to be. All right, so I've had it on my skin for a little bit and I actually feel like it has absorbed a lot more into my skin now. It hasn't got that same really watery kind of consistency where it was just like sat on my skin like a face mask. You know what, dare I say it, I actually really, really like this product. I thought it might be a little bit gimmicky because of like the consistency and the color, but it smells great. It does the job. It's left my skin really nice and soft and so has this, so I'm very pleased. So anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing me try out Revolution products for the whole day. Like honestly, it's been so much fun. I love trying out new products and you guys have been requesting this for a little while as well. Let me know down below, what is your favorite Revolution product? I feel like everyone has a different favorite, but they're all pretty great, so let me know in the comments. If you guys would like to see more videos like this or me try out different brands for a whole like day slash 24 hours, then let me me know in the comments what brand you would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a lovely day and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.